All right, we're here with Zach Tippin, and Zach wants to talk about his experience seeing his first Tool concert in Clarkston, Michigan last week, uh, June 7th, Wednesday, June 7th, 2017. Zach, what are some of your thoughts about the Tool concert on Wednesday, June 7th, 2017 in Clarkston, Michigan? All right, well, thank you for making it ultra specific. I would hate if they confused it with a different Tool concert that was in Clarkston, Michigan, 2017 on June 7th. But thankfully, you specified this one was on a Wednesday. Anyways, some of the main points that stood out to me were it was probably one of the best sounding concerts that I've ever heard. And, you know, I haven't heard too many, but um, I've seen quite a few recordings of many different bands' concerts. And I've always heard, oh, pff, being there is so much better. Why wouldn't you want to be there? It sounds better, looks better. Um, I gotta say, it definitely did sound better. You know, we kind of got right into where the uh, overhead thing was just starting off, so y'all, all the sound kind of echoed inside that little area, and you got to be inside of it while it was all echoing in there. I mean, if you moved out of that area, like onto the deck by DTE, not the same, a lot thinner up there, but you know, once you're in that kind of sweet spot, but not too close, like where the uh, pavilion is, sounds great. You can still kind of see, and it's not going to be super expensive. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the set lists, but I mean, I still loved basically everything that they played. Uh, Third Eye felt a little long to play live, kind of as a um, middle song, but of course I played uh, a lot of favorites. Uh, the Grudge, Schism, Opiate. 46 and 2, that's one of my favorites, along with previous mentioned. And uh, it was real great to see how many people were getting into it, but on the same note, a lot of people I think were getting into it a bit too much, uh, to the point where it was just obnoxious, you know, they were guzzling beers, as shown, and just being total idiots about it. And, um... It's just kind of like you were in the wrong crowd there, you know? It felt really out of place to really kind of feel the music and maybe tap your foot, you know, clap at the end, give a woo, and then wait for the next song. You felt a little out of place with how many people were just going crazy. Tool! That's a quote from a guy who I may never see again, who was at that concert. Um, and I think that part was one of the downsides. Not too great. It's like with a lot of heavy metal bands. If you go to see them live you're, and you're not getting into it like they are, you're going to have a bad time. But all to be expected, uh, what wasn't expected and was a good thing, I should mention, is uh, some of the little itsy bitsy things that they did. For instance, they did this uh, thing in Schism. I won't spoil it, but it was different, very cool. Imagery fit, everything fit. It was wonderful. They played their new song that they've only played live, from as far as I know. Also kind of meshed everything together real nice. It was a real pleasant song, from what I remember, with real pleasant imagery as well. And also, uh, Maynard gave a little speech and us being from Michigan, he knew right what to talk about, uh, our sports teams, which I don't really know too much about, but uh, he was talking about how there's Michigan and Michigan State, and each one is, you know, pretty set on hating the other, but after saying pretty much cheer for Michigan, and the whole crowd starts going nuts, he said, now apply that to real life. And I think that was a real, real neat speech that he gave. A real great point as well. And one of those things that just made you beautiful, beautiful. Wipe a tear from your eye. Anyways, I know I'm rambling on. It's just a little concert, only however many minutes, two hours long. But I guess it was a big experience for me. I'll see you all later. You keep on rocking.